is The Real, Real Talk, Talk with the door and Daisy. Welcome back to another episode with the door and Daisy. What's up? What's up? How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. We into season three. Season three been going really good. It been going up. They can't wait for us to drop some more heat. They just waiting. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for this season. I feel like I always say, like, this is my favorite episode, or I feel good about this episode today. Like, I'm back on that. I feel like that with every episode. I do. We got a great guest with us today. We're going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hi, you guys. My name is Janai Hampton, and I am the CEO of Detroit Flower Company. And I'd just like to thank you ladies for having me here today. Yes, we are glad to have you here. Let us get you situated. Yeah, I'm trying to get this thing Okay. Do we have to twist that? Yep. So just as long as you speak into it, we should be good. Okay, cool. All right. So, again, we have the CEO of Detroit Flower Company in the building based out of Detroit, Michigan. If you did yes. not know, now you know. Mm-hmm. Some of the best bou- bouquets I've seen. Thank you. So Thank you so much. I appreciate it. She really got the guys tucking back in their flower bag. Yes. You know, girls have been posting for days, for years, for months. You know, like, <laughs> you know, give me a guy to give me some flowers. And Detroit Flower Company been going up since mm-hmm. then. I mean, not you know, since then. But I know flowers. I love to get flowers. I love to get flowers. What's the meaning behind getting flowers for you? For me, um... I just feel like it means you need. It's like a for for one. I want them every week because it's like a rebirth. Like you you watch it live. You watch it live. For me, I feel like they mean a lot, but it's small. They don't cost that much, for the most part. Mm-hmm. So like. It's a thought it's the behind thought. it. It's yep. a thought. It, 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 it can help you make your day. Like, mm-hmm. You know, just go downstairs and see these flowers just blooming. Mm-hmm. You know, like a daisy. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I don't get flowers, <laughs> so that sucks. I don't really you don't flowers. get flowers? I get myself flowers. Uh, I, you I say, think guys think, like, she own a flower company. She don't want No, flowers. you don't even know. Like, Mm-mm. flowers yeah, can literally just have, make your day. I, I would have, like, a, a certain person, like, that worked for me that I would have, want to do it. Like, tell this person to do it if you're going to give me flowers. I would put them in my house. Like, yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely would send somebody else in there. Yeah. If, I've, I've gotten them, like, twice, but um, I hate to say I wasn't interested, but I wasn't, so... I mean, it's just a thought that counts yeah, it is. for me with with flowers, with anything. But yeah, with anything. what if you get some flowers for somebody that you ain't feeling? You throwing them out the window, or you taking? I'm them not throwing them out the window because the flowers are probably still nice, even if you're <laughs> not a nice guy. Or you know, I'm, thank you for the flowers. Like, <laughs> shit, I've done it before. <laughs> so tell us. <laughs> You know what? Not today. <laughs> okay. So tell us the brand. Like, how did you come up with the brand? What's your background history? What made you, what brought you here? Um. So basically, uh, in like 2019, I was like 2018, I was like um, training. Well, actually, I was a certified personal trainer, a group fitness trainer, and a, a yoga instructor. So wow. I was working in downtown Detroit uh, at CrossFit Detroit, and I was working at Vibe Ride Detroit. I was teaching yoga three times a day, three times a week. I would, like, work out, like, myself. And then I was working at, like, a juice bar. I worked at a deli. This is all, like, at the same time. Like, my schedule was just, like, really, like, set. Because, like, the yoga studio, the gym, and the juice bar was all in one building. And then, like, my other job wasn't too far. And then the other job wasn't too far. So it's, like, all in the same vicinity. So basically, that's where all my money went. (laughs) So that's what I thought that I would be doing. So um, the yoga studio, though, um, that owner, we became, like, really close. And so um, my first ever job, like, like in life was at a uh, at a flower shop thrifty florist on Grand River and Telegraph so basically when I met her um, she didn't really know that I was a florist but she was having like a grand opening and she's like you know asking can I do some flower arrangements like just as a friend like you know put mm-hmm. them in a jar but I did it like really nice because that's what I would do right, like, right. in high school or whatever so um, she is literally who pushed me Lindsay she just like really pushed me and she she literally was like you need to start like a flower business because this is like super nice and I'm like eh, no you know I just put thousands of dollars into like fitness like girl I'm working out like I'm trying to be a personal trainer 
And um, basically, I did it just like as another hobby because I always wanted to be like a businesswoman. So I'm just like, just just another thing under the belt. So right. now I do this, 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 this. So I never really like put my all into it at that point. Mm -hmm. But um, the name, I wanted it at first to have like my name in it um, because there's a florist in Texas. Um, her name is Blooms by Suze, and I really liked her work. She was always, like, kind to me, with, like, helping me with stuff. And I'm like, well, her name is in her, so, you know, I kind of want my name to be in mine. But then I was just like, I worked in downtown Detroit, so I know, like, you know, white-collar businesses or, um, you know, black-owned businesses, professional businesses. You want, like, a name that you could see everywhere. So yeah. I'm just like, it, Detroit Flower Company, like, short, sweet to point. Like, that's, like, you can see that. So that's where, yeah. like, the name and everything came from. And then it wasn't enough until, like, last, um, was that last year? I think whenever COVID it first came i think that was last year no that was two years year. ago two years yeah. ago that's crazy <laughs> but uh two years ago basically um when COVID hit was when i like took it on like full time like and gave it like my like complete undivided attention and like quit everything that i was doing so um i remember just telling like my fitness clients like i just don't have time anymore like i'm really sorry um i just gave my two weeks at the deli i was working at all the other jobs because i was working like seven so the gym jobs were like closed down because of covid i worked at like um lovers only downtown it was like a burger joint they cut my hours and i'm just like I'm right not here i worked for the hockey team at little Caesars arena their season got cut because of covid so i was down just to working this. working working i'm just down to this one job so, <laughs> so god was like let me direct your focus to where i wanted to be yeah right. so basically i just got like an offer for like some pieces that was like thirteen hundred dollars and that was just a lot of money to me at the time i wasn't even making that much with the one job that I had so I was just like me and my boss was close like he let me do my flowers there mm -hmm. that's like where I would do it and like I would deliver everything at that point like I had the company but I quit and um ever since then uh that's just I pursued it like completely full time and unless I've been on vacation I've had or been like closed on a Sunday we've had an order like every single day period um there hasn't been like a day that I've never had like a flower order ever since like I quit so. I know that's right I know that's right <laughs> I know that's right that's yeah. so what's up like to hear yeah. a story like Thank when you can be doing you literally be doing so much just focused on the money when you're not really trying you can't even find your passion when you're yeah. doing so much stuff like so once you realize what your passion is and going full force with it that's what's up yeah. and you're succeeding and Definitely. you're doing yeah. very well thank you how old are you 23 23 so um yeah i just felt like fitness was really cool but once i started to really do flowers i would just notice on social media people are because I had like 3,000 followers on Twitter. I have like 12K now, but it would, like, I haven't, I've always been like explicit on Twitter. I always say, like, <laughs> she be in her bag yeah, sometimes. Okay, I got it. <laughs> like, if you looking for me, look, look, go to Twitter. Like, I'm always on there. So, um, just being able to say whatever I want still and just like live my regular 23 year old life. Right, right. Like, right after this, I'm gonna go get a lemon dropper or like, period. So, yeah. Like, um, I think people just respect me because I, you know, I run a business, but I still live my like regular everyday life. People mm -hmm. know me because they know me from downtown and they know that I used to take the bus every day. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm like extremely like chill and just mm -hmm. like humble and everything because it's like for the most part, I'm just personable. Mm -hmm. So people can relate. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've been to your store a few times. I actually stopped on my way to record here once just so I could peep the atmosphere you know sometimes you got to see stuff for yourself and I bought my co-host some flowers because I like to give my girl flowers and they were freaking <laughs> beautiful but it was you didn't know who I was but of course I knew who you were so like it's just amazing to see you know black women doing their thing mm -hmm. and like really you know professional and stuff like that so I do want to give you your flowers thank you I appreciate it and um for the most part uh I just feel like I was kind of clouded in downtown Detroit. Like, mm -hmm. I had to be a certain way. And, like, mm -hmm. so I, I love when people come into my store and they hear, like, when, I, I love Britney Spears, y'all. <laughs> so they, they might hear Britney Spears. They might hear Babyface. Like, I don't know, yeah. girls like all that type. Like, we like all that. So I just feel like um, when people could come in and just, like, because my mom works there, they can chat with my mom, chat with my brother, and just, like, you know, feel like, you know, it's just an experience above, like, oh, I'm just here to, like, give you Buy flowers. Some yeah. flowers. Like, that's, like, the biggest thing for me, so. That's yeah. what's up. So, yeah. to have him run a business at 23, like. She lit. You're, you're super lit. Like, you know, <laughs> that's amazing. And it's so good to see, like, any um advice you have for people who want to follow their dreams but scared to yeah, I would just say go for it. I just straight up, like, went for it. But um, even before then, like I said, I worked a lot of jobs. And I'm yeah. going to say this to the day I die. People, you leave an impression, like, straight up wherever you go. 
I call my boss like all the like my old boss mm -hmm. all the time when my team is like acting up and I'm like tell these people hi I was never late I took the bus every day like I did this I took initiative I'm like you need to tell them how I was because mm -hmm. I don't think they believe you mm -hmm. you know what I mean so um I just feel like every, every job I worked and every little thing that I've done up until now has helped me whether it was just like I remember when I first started off at this deli which is just so random but I just like picked up a broom and started sweeping in the owner was just like the other people don't do that like you know right. what I mean so it's just like and that's the same guy who let me do my pop-up shops at his place and I would leave early to take flowers like on his time so I just really feel like um not only do people need to not think it's going to go from like here to here they need to know everything in between mm -hmm. it definitely matters and you just have to be like kind and graceful like wherever you are wherever you are mm -hmm. because definitely. I, I, I feel like all those connections like yeah. you know helped me so yeah i seen that you had like a contract with the detroit pistons what's that um, uh -huh. So basically, it's not like a contract. So what's weird is um, I started like betting on FanDuel just because I wanted <laughs> money. Like I'm not, I was not into sports. Let me tell you. Listen, I have to the FanDuel back <laughs> yes, too. Like, Listen, <laughs> I'm like, look, because I was about to say, Lynn, almost over. I'm about to be back. Over. <laughs> but, um, I basically was like sports betting, but the more that I did it, I'm like, Shh. you know, these games fun to watch. Like, am I really at home watching basketball? So one day I decided to take, um, well, on three different occasions, I took three different people like to floor seats, like at the game, you know, just like experiencing it. And I'm like, damn, I like basketball now. Like, you know, this 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 my type of thing. So I just remember tweeting like, I want to work with the Pistons. I don't know what the hell we gonna do or what I'm gonna you know do, but I'm gonna make it my business and. um I just was messaging the Pistons. I was messaging people, like, you know, different things. Like, I can do this. I can put, you know, his face on the rose. We can do this. And then that's just literally what it was. Um, and so I think we've had, like, four um, things with them because – That's lit. Mm -hmm. On Valentine's Day, um, we were, like, the small business of the game or whatever. And ever since then, um, I think they just kind of liked, you know, what we did. And so after that, we gave – well, they bought some roses from us um, – that they gave out to people, like, you know, the glitter ones, the ones, like, printed with the logo on it. And so I think they were just, like, impressed with what we could do with flowers. Yeah. And so it just kind of started from there. And one thing about it, people be sleeping on Twitter. I they said, do. I, I said, them. I love Twitter. Twitter <laughs> I said something about Delta one time. Delta came, tried to clap back. Like, <laughs> I forgot, like, they kept delaying my flight or something. They ended up giving me a credit. At, like, whenever you mention somebody, yeah, like, one of them yeah. on Twitter, they they, they right they, back. They, they got people that they pay. That's their job sure. to sit and watch that type of stuff. Yeah. People underestimate Twitter. Like, not, not only do I just, like, put stuff on Twitter. Like, I don't care. I post my dog like all the time like I'm just one of those like I tweet whatever come into my head type of thing but like um we did flowers for like her and just stuff like that is just like um when you just get people attention on yeah media, going viral yeah, like, yeah that's that's all you want like you just send people stuff mm -hmm. or you just mention them like hey I can do this I bet you ain't seen this before right right people better mm -hmm. stop playing with Twitter people be yeah Twitter, yeah, be, Twitter is, all it has a like a like yo, it shows your work on so many people yeah. uh timeline mm -hmm. like yeah. Twitter is like the real connect it really it really is definitely because I'm over Instagram <laughs> man it's so, but it's so hard to transition when you got a business. Yeah, I, my, I don't know. Like, I don't run our Instagram like that. Like, I'll get on there to like check out what the social media manager doing and all of that. But it's just like they changed up like so much stuff every time. I can't every do a day. Real, I can't do that type of stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just get off of here. I don't. Think so. I yeah, know. I'm not into Instagram. I don't know how to work it. <laughs> Obviously, I need to learn, and I'm doing better. But like, she way more advanced than me when it comes to stuff like that. So she kind of be the one that yeah. do the post all the time but that's a part of really making it for real if it's word of mouth if mm. you posting something yeah. you never know who gonna see it like that's you never know who gonna see it because i think when i saw your flowers it's probably because the that you was posting them and people was retweeting them or yeah people was tweeting mood or i want these yeah. or mm -hmm. stuff like that whenever you post purple roses i always be retweeting it because <laughs> I know people that like me be watching my tweets. So. <laughs> you better come get her some purple roses. Okay, purple is my girl favorite color. Some purple roses with the money wrapped around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only them really the only ones I like. They're my favorite. <laughs> the ones wrapped the money up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you watching this? That's the ones I like. So like, no seriously, no, <laughs> no sake. So earlier today, um, I was having a conversation with someone and we were talking about like dating um, with like women that's already established mm -hmm. and we young. Mm -hmm. So by you being young, do you feel like 
your dating life has a took a toll? I feel like as far as dating, I'm like Judge Judy. I feel like, <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm just, um, I just feel like I am, I can admit that I'm just like a tough nut to crack. Like you said, I am established. I don't have to sit around and wait on nobody mm-hmm. type of thing. So I don't take it as like, oh, I'm like better than you. But mm-hmm. it's like men cannot slip. They will tell you. I just Ooh. don't play. Like, I don't know. I just... I don't know. I wouldn't even say, like, I lose interest fast, but it's just, like, I got so much other shit I could be worried about. Right. Like, honestly, like... You think I'm gonna sit here and worry about you? Yeah, pretty much. It's just, like, not to be, like, all rude or whatever. That really is what it is when you got a lot going on for yourself. Like, I'm not about to sit here and let you worry me. It's just, like, you know what? The bare minimum for me is, like, I really like coffee. Like, I'm into stuff like that. It's, like, I be at the fucking shop. Like, where's the fucking coffee? Like, you know, where's the smoothies? Like, it's just little stuff. Yeah. And I just be, like, y'all just ain't got it. (laughs) Like, and I die waiting, (laughs) so. Yeah. I, I love coffee, too. I got addicted to coffee last year when I was working 12 hours, and then I would get off, and I would go to school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, I had to be up at 2.30 in the morning, 3 in the morning. And like, I literally was running on fumes. So, like, I had to find something to keep me woke, and coffee it was. Like, I just went in Starbucks and was like, give me the strongest coffee you got. <laughs> like, And, like, the girl, she was like, what do you like? I'm like, I like caramel or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, like. I never was into caramel frappes. I had them from McDonald's years ago when I worked there when I was 16. Mm-hmm. Never really liked them, but now I'm addicted to coffee. I can drink coffee two, three, four times a day. Like, Yeah, I usually just get my coffee in the morning. I just get like a plain ice I'm latte. I'm never coming coffee, y'all. Uh. Never? No. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't <laughs> say never because it was to the point I had no time to sleep. <laughs> Never. I'll take it to the chin. I'm not <laughs> coming coffee, bro. I, I do feel like my, my team like can straight up tell when I haven't had it. Like, it's, it's that deep. No, I'm telling I, you, it be know. having me wired up. Yes. Okay. Yes. And when you don't got it, they could tell. Oh, like, my God. Like, I can't believe y'all addicted to them. Well, yeah. you know, teach us. I'm trying to like transition to smoothies, though. That's to like, smoothies? That's what I, I've been trying to. Go to the smoothies. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're actually about to do a juice fast, too. Five days, Five April days. 1st through the 5th, we teamed up with um, our brother podcast, Breaking the Machine, mm-hmm. and for five days, ju- just mm-hmm. juice all day. Just juice. Juice and water. My best friend, literally just before I came here, this bitch was telling me about how she vegetarian. I just <laughs> looking at the way, you know. You're like, <laughs> the only thing that I haven't done that I'm proud of is just like not drink pop, no Pepsi. Like I Oh, that's Pepsi. good. I haven't had it in like a month. So. That's good. That's good. That's and good. that's crazy. Like. Yeah, that's crazy. That's what's up. I only been having a coffee a day or every other day. But somebody just got me a gift card for Starbucks for two hundred dollars. So oh, you, you say you love it. I think this. Um, it was a lady. She was at Starbucks, and I don't know if this was like her way of giving back, but she gave it to me and like the five cars behind. So mm-hmm. when oh, I period. went to the window, the lady was like, "Oh, the lady, the car in front of you." Oh wow. Gave you a gift card. So I'm thinking maybe it was just for one coffee. When I went the next day and I saw the balance, I'm like, I don't know if this was a mistake or whatever. <laughs> I'll but take it. <laughs> I've been there every day since. Like, <laughs> even though I would be there every day anyway. But it's a blessing. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I get teased from there too. So, I mean, I wouldn't say like, uh, you're not going to be like, oh, she didn't have her coffee today. <laughs> like, I, you know, I don't be freaking out like that, but that's just something that I like. Like, that's my fix. People need a drink a day. Like, yeah. I'd rather drink a coffee. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? So, that's yeah. just, that's it for me. Definitely. What do you do for fun? Um, so, basically, just chill with Alice, really. But I like to drink. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Period. Yeah, I like to drink. Uh, for the most part, I do hang, like, with my best friend a lot. Uh, either, either or. Like, I have two of them. So, if I'm not with one, I'm, like, with the other drinking. Like, Lighter drops. Dark. Okay, so if it's a mixed drink, then I'm going to go light with, like, the lemon drop. But if it's straight liquor, I'm going to do Douce. Really? Yeah, or, like, dark, like, Hennessy or something. Okay, I'm okay. I'm not, like, a Patron type of girl. I do like to um do, like, psychedelics. Like, I do shrooms. Like, yeah. I love shrooms. Yeah, I definitely like that. Um, well, how was your experience, like? Awesome. <laughs> like, um. Every time. Yeah, very, good. <laughs> very, very, very good. I like to look at the flowers and stuff like that. Watch uh, the Dance Moms. That's like the best thing ever. It's Dance so Moms? It's, it's hilarious. Like, that show is hilarious. Yeah, no, I've seen it a couple times. so funny when you want shrooms. Um, and just like eat and just chill. <laughs> I just got, I like to go to the strip club. I don't know. I just like to, I don't really travel too much, but sometimes um, me and my brothers and my best friend, we just like get up and go to Chicago. So I'm not like 
I don't know. I don't have like this lavish life, but uh, <laughs> for the most part, I, I bitch like to drink, I like to smoke. <laughs> I know that's say so. you normal. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 That's Not that don't make you abnormal though. Yeah. No. I, so when I, I was twenty three, I was living. Yeah, I was about to say. I always tell people like, I'm, like if you come in my shop and you do smell weed, then you that's probably what we doing. Like you know. What I mean? like, <laughs> yeah. But it's like you know, it's in the back type of thing. Yeah. But for the most part. um, yeah, I do be like living. Like I don't really care about stuff like that. Like I'm, yeah. I'm 23. What y'all want to say? Right. <laughs> yeah. Facts. That's Definitely. that's that's what's up. That you still be in yourself because a lot of people, Hollywood. You know they get Hollywood. They I, change. I feel like I'm like the exact same. The only thing is I do feel like I'm just like upgrading my life. Like my car. Like I have mm-hmm. a new car, but I've always wanted like an Audi. Like I've always wanted a car like that. And um, like even where I live at, I live like in Dearborn, like close to the city, just mm-hmm. like a nice little apartment. Like I could be somewhere like right, right. In a way different. But I feel like this is my I need to be close to my mama. I need to be right. close to Joy Road. You know what I mean? So um mm-hmm. yeah, I just feel like I definitely like try to keep try to keep it as normal as possible. Like, I just like to chill. Period. I feel it. I I don't ever like to do too much. I'm very chill. I will turn up every once in a while, yeah. but for the most part, yeah. I like to go to functions like where you can see all the people you know from Twitter and stuff like that. But even then, I'm gonna have somebody I know with me. I'm be chilling. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't think I ever would turn Hollywood. I just feel like um, I do get upgrade my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not the people would that. consider that Hollywood, but like far as me having a conversation, I talk to anybody that yeah. talked to me. Like, yeah. you don't get that vibe from me. Like, oh, I just said something to her. She didn't say nothing back. Like, yeah. I'm not one of those. Yeah. I'm not. You can't sit with me. Come sit with me because I need somebody to talk to. Actually, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I go to a bar, because I do go to the bar by myself a lot. Um, just because usually I go to the same places, so I know like the bartenders. Right. Whatever, but people come up to me and talk to me like all the time. I'd be thinking like, okay, like you know, I'm cool <laughs> with this. Like, but like you said, you gotta be normal though. Like, I don't need you to be all weird. Like I am Hollywood because I'm not like <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. You know, like weird stuff. But like and people, people just assume. Yeah, just like so cool. Like even like at the mall. Like one time, me and this girl, like she just asked who I was. We went was at the mall together. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like I, you know, I don't mind as long as you do. <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely. As long as you cool. As long as you cool. Because I feel like if you follow me on Twitter, then you know me. Like, you you know me. Like, you know. I do be knowing my followers, though. Yeah, like, like I do get that vibe that I know people because mm-hmm. I don't follow that many people on there. So, I yeah. feel like if you are a tweeter and you tweet, like... Don't be all weird. You, I'm going to think you weird. If you don't say nothing, it'd be all cool. Like, you, you be on Twitter. <laughs> right, right. You got your... Everybody got their own vibe on Twitter. So, like, it'd be certain people I know, okay, she going to come with the motivation this morning. Okay, she going to come with the drama today. Or she going to come with this. Or, or he going to come with that. Like, I do feel like I know my followers. Yeah. I agree. I feel like you don't be on Twitter that much like you used to. And I don't it's like it. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to get back in the Twitter things when you have a young toddler, okay? <laughs> don't blame him. It's always. He's getting older now. He is. He is. That's what happened with my friend. Like, she do not be on Twitter. I'll just be like, damn, bitch, you can't keep up with nothing. Uh, it be no hard. Twitter. Twitter is something you have to be on to keep yeah, up. You, you ain't really guess. no updating you on there. Like, if you wasn't there, you wasn't yeah, there. You missed it. You missed <laughs> it. They saw the lead now. So. Yeah, I definitely. swear, because I'm somebody that's going to go back and delete my tweets, and I don't even be doing that but tweeting songs. But I'll be like, nope, let me. Let this me. ain't my mood somewhere. Let me no, go back let and me. delete this. I don't yeah. even feel like this. <laughs> Gotta go. I mm-hmm. had a post. Um, well, this wasn't the post, but this is another post. Relationships are more valuable than money. Strong relationships can get you into rooms that money can't. A lot of people chase the bag, but don't realize a bigger bag will come from relationships. How y'all feel about it? Mm-hmm. Well, well, well you get no, you go ahead. I was going to say, um, I feel like, I mean, it's just, it, it depends because... I feel like for me, it was like me putting out the word of mouth type of thing. And just like I said, doing what I had to do at work, like they weren't like billionaires or anything like that. Right. But I do feel like channels like um, the Pistons and maybe like, let's say you told your cousin about the flowers type mm-hmm. of thing. I do feel like stuff like that matters. So um, I do think it is kind of about the people that you know. It is. What was the first sentence? Relationships are more valuable than money. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, 100%. Um, people give me opportunities all the time. Like, when I went to New York, that was just a girl. She from she was from here, and she, like, put the word out for me out there. So mm-hmm. I definitely think, like, and, and we've never, like, hung out ever. So she was just being kind, you know what I mean? So I feel like 
do people right. <laughs> right. I definitely feel like you got to do right by people. Yeah. I never felt like um, money made a difference. It makes a difference, but it doesn't. Like, I got relationships with people that money couldn't got couldn't got us in. Yeah. Like, it's very important to take relationships serious because you never know who somebody know and what room they could put you in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like how you said you, your boss, your old boss let you do a pop-up shop and, yeah. you know, let you do your thing while working for them. Like, you probably don't hear about that often. Like, right. people don't want to yeah. see you do better. Yeah. You know, like, a nine-to-five thing, they don't want to see you do better. Yeah. And I can be... 100% honest with nine to fives, regular businesses, they don't want to see you do better than them. Like, they want you to stay where you at in a mm-hmm. company or either move up a little bit in a company. But as far as leaving a company, they yeah. don't care or want to see you do better. Right. So they try to discourage you from trying to be a better person or mm-hmm. to do what you want to do or do what you, you know, that stuff that you like to do. Like, I've had jobs to be like, so what, you got to go to school. Like, we need you. Yeah. Like, you need to, you have to stay 12 hours today. Like, yeah, they you, literally don't care about what you got going on outside of their job. Yeah, so definitely good to have that relationship with your boss, you know, to let you succeed in what you really want to do. Dang, I can't find this post, but if I can remember correctly, it was asking, like, did you want a million dollars? Um, a one-time payment of a million dollars or $4,000 every week or every two weeks. And it was something else. I cannot find it. I think I know, my mom I really remember. answered this. My mom's like, 4000 a week. 4000 a week yeah. for sure. Yeah, because yeah. that's income. What? Yeah. I need that. That's it's weekly. weekly. I, I, help, yeah. I feel like it helped me live normally, too. Like, Man, what? 4000 a week? Need Come that. here. <laughs> Come <laughs> here. I do not want that lump sum. I don't mm-hmm. care if it's a million. 5000 yeah. a week? That, you can rent through a million so quick. Yeah, I'm about to say that. be gone. Yeah, 4000 a week. That's guaranteed. Yeah, I couldn't find out. Sounds lovely. Good. Sounds lovely <laughs> to sounds, me, okay? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I, I'd take, I take the 4000 for sure. Yeah. Are you um are you looking to expand in a, into another state? Um, At the moment, I'm looking to leave the buildings that I am at now and, like, get a bigger one here. It, the thing with Detroit Flower Company is it's just, like, um, very high demand, very, like, fast-paced type of very. thing. So it's just, like, right when I feel like, okay, I got the swing of things, I know what I'm doing here is, like, even more customers, even less space, you know, this, that, and the third. We're doing this, something new. Like, we need even more this, that, and the third. So um, if, if I do, like, expand, it'll either be, like uh, – somewhere like California, like we have a lot of people who like our flowers out there and they mm. have really, really nice flower markets mm. out there. Um, honestly, after visiting New York, uh, I feel like there's nothing like that in New York, um, nothing like that in like Chicago, like places that I've been to, I feel like I would like kill it out there um, just because when That's I what's that. like go to these places, it's usually for business. So they always say like, we don't have nothing like this out here. Like our flower shop here just normal. And usually the prices are like so crazy high for like the most ridiculous things. Mm-hmm. So I feel mm. like um, either like Chicago, uh, L.A., something, or like uh, New York somewhere. But I'm pretty probably sure. Probably Chicago first because we're closer. So. Wherever you go, you will succeed. Your mm-hmm. flowers be lit. Thank like, you. Yeah. And they be so many people go. Like, Thank you. You probably didn't reason a lot of these people get into arguments. Like, <laughs> what's flower, flowers? They, what, do you, what do you mean? All you do is throw them away. And, no, but look at these flowers. Though. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> these flowers aren't yeah. your normal flowers. Like, yeah, guys come in all the time, and they're like, Oh, I see why, you know, she pressing me for these flowers. That's that's like the nicest thing. When the guys are like super impressed, like that's what like we like at the shop because women just like flowers. Like we love to like just look at flowers, receive flowers. But like when men are like, how the fuck did she do this? Or right. like, you know, how do you do this? I see why, you know, it's, you know, this, then the third. Um, that's like a really huge compliment to me. So men can spend a little change on some, some flowers. <laughs> you can definitely spend it. They need to. They need to go back to old school when they used to pick you up for a date. With the flowers. With the flowers, with exactly. the flowers. Not I miss that I'm taking you on a date, but I'm bringing you a gift to the date. Like uh, some small, some nice. Some small, some nice. I just so we're gonna play this game. It's called this or that. Okay. <laughs> um, nothing too crazy. So, dress or skirt? Uh, a dress. <laughs> Checks or stripes? Stripes. Yeah, I'm, I've been on stripes lately. <laughs> <laughs> Piercing or tattoos? Tats. Piercings. 
You got any tattoos? Yeah, I have a few of them. You got a few? Yeah. Um, I have like a mushroom girl like on the back of my thigh. So you're into shrooms. Yeah. <laughs> I have like really an hourglass on my butt. I have like a heart on my side. I have a rose. Wait, you got an hourglass on your butt. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, that's like different. A, yeah, I won't say the joke, but it's just like okay, <laughs> a <little> insider. <laughs> um, a heart on my wrist, and then um, uh, infinity sign on my ankle, and then I have like t- uh, Hello Kitty on my um. Leg. It's the shrooms and hourglass to me. <laughs> All my tattoos are mean, Lewis. I got them when I was eighteen because I can get them. And like, All of them are meaningless. Yes. All of them. I mean, they mean something, but uh, like not. Oh, that but I, now when, you now they now that I'm older and it's like, okay, <laughs> what does it mean? Like, I mean, like, what am I? Am I gonna have this on my body for the rest of my life? Like, that's the, the type of things I be thinking of. Like, just imagine me eighty with 80 like, <laughs> yeah, like. Oh, oh, oh. Tramp, tramp. So imagine me yeah. eighty bending over, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get something off the floor. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> That's you funny. don't think about that when you're 18, yeah. though. Like, you I don't. used to think that was cool. Me and my best friend, we would go get tattooed just because for the hell of it. And yeah. it's like, what? my mama used to tell me all the time, like, be careful what you get. It's not what you think. 10 years from now, you're not going to care about it. And she never lied about it. Never lied. Pierce thing you can always take out. My mama couldn't yeah. believe yeah. I got a tattoo. How old was you when you got your first tattoo? Um, Did you sneak and get it? Yeah, I was like 16. I was still in high school. I wasn't supposed to have it for sure. <laughs> and I went to the bathroom, but it was a public bathroom. It was out to eat. Maybe I was taking longer than expected. My mama came in there. You know my mama. She, <laughs> is that real? <laughs> yes, mom. Like, damn. Yeah, like, okay, I'm caught. Like, yes, it's real. <laughs> she like, Okay. You're not going to like that later on in life. Basically, but I'm like, girl, it's not even done. I got to get something in the middle. (laughs) (laughs) But that was funny. Um, French or Spanish? Spanish. Mm. Talk to me in French. Yeah. (laughs) Talk to me in Espanol because I know it a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. So you can talk back. I don't know what you're saying, but (laughs) sound good. Cats or dogs? Dogs, I'm such a dog mom. I give my dog a world. Oh, uh, you a dog mom. That's who Alice is, her dog. I, I know. I, 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 <laughs> missed, I used to have a dog. Back, when? Girl, a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I didn't have it long. <laughs> that dog could not. I, I, was, I was like 18. You, know, you remember had, my dog named Baby? Oh, baby didn't a, last. Two weeks. Baby didn't last <laughs> Yo, long I remember at all. That. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so cute. What was it, a little Yorkie? Yeah. Man, I begged for that dog. Really? Got it yeah, I forgot. I could... You had that dog for like two weeks. It was so crazy. I'm like, yeah, no, this is not, no. I I, I was just doing too much at the time. I couldn't. It was like having a baby. Yeah, it, that's how we feel. That was his lot. Yeah, I wasn't there at that time. Um, <laughs> Saturdays or Sundays? Sundays. Saturdays. Saturdays because I can get drunk after I get off and I can <laughs> sleep into Sunday. I work on Mondays. Oh, you close on Sundays? Yeah. All floors are usually closed on Sundays. Yeah. I've I been hearing it. a day. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need one day at yeah. least. And Mondays are probably pretty busy. Every day is like really busy. Really busy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you say forget it. Sundays, yeah. I'm going to rest. Sundays, I'm going to rest. Um, riches or happiness? Happiness. Yeah, definitely happiness. I know millionaires that got all that money and so unhappy about it. I was about it. to say, I got money. I be sad as fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, money, it, it's not everything, but it's a lot. It's oh. something that's, it's a, it's a necessity for sure, but at the end of the day, like, I want it to where I can do what I want mm. and do as I please, but I still want to be happy. happy. Mm-hmm. So if that, you know. Money can bring losers and users. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what money can bring. True. Um, Call or text. Call me. I do not like texting. Don't be texting. Don't be me and this boy just got into it about that. Don't. Cause you be busy. I don't be wanting to text. I you listen. Know? First of all, I don't want to text either. I I'm gotta, dry. Like I don't. Hey, hey. Yeah, like, I'm very dry during the text because it's nothing really to text about. When I got real life shit going on, I'm really real. busy. I'm really. I'm really doing stuff. I'm I'm not sitting here holding my phone waiting on you to text. And I don't care what you're doing. I don't. <laughs> I honestly Almost. don't. Yeah, I don't really... I prefer to talk on the phone. Yeah, call me. But sometimes I like to text because I need to have my receipts. 
I feel that. Depends on the conversation. <laughs> Case you be like, we are uh, planning to meet on Monday. People be, no, I thought it was Thursday. Nope, it was no. Monday. <laughs> you that type. Yep. <laughs> Smoke or drink? Smoke. Drink. Smoke. Boobs or butt? Butts. Boobs. <laughs> Butts. <laughs> um, when is your birthday? Uh, December 26th. Oh, day after Christmas. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, what is it? Movies or am- amusement park? The amusement park. Yeah, I'm gonna go amusement park. Yeah, me too. Drive or fly? Fly. Drive, cause I can smoke. <laughs> <laughs> fly, and I'll smoke when I get there. Okay. <laughs> um, truth or dare? Dare. Oh, you're truth. Devil. Just tell me the truth. Oh, just, just tell me the truth. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dare. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't care what's going on. I'm just nope. take this dare. Dare, <laughs> dare me, please. Um, lose your sight or <laughs> lose your hearing. Mm. Hearing. Hearing. I mean, cause you can yeah, read people's lips. Yeah. I, I gotta go with that one. I don't see. I will. Hurt. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Numbers or letters? Numbers. Numbers. I'm gonna have to go with them. I guess numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I had another post too. Oh, this a new phone. Yeah, I can't, I can't find that post. I usually separate them, but I don't know if it didn't back up or whatever the case was. Here's one. Real women still exist. You just have to be real back to them. Do you agree? Real women still exist. You just have to be real back to them. Like, as far as, like, a man. Like, me be real to you. I say, you I say that and with friendships, too. Like, well, I definitely feel like you get what we. I don't feel like you get what you give. But, um, <laughs> you don't. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not in my case. I've, I've I've stopped talking to like a lot of people just because I'm just like, oh, is this what a friend is? Like I'm just like, all right, bro, I'm done. Um, I I don't feel like that because I have been so fucking nice and so fucking cool, and nice. And it don't work. I, I feel like um, when you get older, my papa used to tell me this all the time, like. He always used to tell me, like, I would lo- use the friend word so loosely. Like, mm-hmm. he used to be like, how you know he like you? Or how he kn- how you know this? And I used to be like, well, because he told me. Or, you know, stuff mm-hmm. like that. And he'd be like, no, what's the reason? Like, he used to literally dig deep. And it didn't make sense, obviously, when I was in high school. Like, but it all makes sense now. But the thing about being real with somebody, I feel like I'm kind of 50-50 with it because... People come in your life for seasons and reasons. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we overlook the fact that they're here for a reason or a season. So, like, because we overlook that, we think this is a lifelong person. Mm-hmm. So, like, they could have been real in that season that we first was in. But now, like, they're not supposed to still be here. So, yeah, that could, like, disappear. It's kind of easier said than done. But Fact. that's why I'm kind of 50-50 with sense, it. Though. It definitely do. Because people change, I feel like. I've been the ones to change. Most people just, like, don't. So, it's just, like... When they stay stagnant, they used just, to who you used to be. Yeah, we're just on two different things is really the reason that most of I usually tell people, like, I'm cool, basically. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you when you elevate, everybody can't go, and it don't have anything to do with money. It's, like, the drive that you have. Like, it's the things that you do. Yeah. And, like, the fact that you have a business, you have to move a certain way. You have a name and a character, to, you know, yeah. to uphold, you know? So, like, you can't just have p- careless people around that don't got nothing to lose. Like, yeah, that's and it's it's crazy as it sounds. When we was all growing up, we had groups of friends that we thought we was going to ride to the end with or we would have got rich with or something like that. But everybody, some people don't ever grow. I had somebody tell me I switched up, and I'm like, what you mean? He was like, well, four years ago, you didn't want this, and now you want this. And I'm just like, you I mad at me because I wasn't yeah. staying the same? Yeah, like, I can... I can change like elevate as far as I want go. more like, yeah what? yeah, yeah you're right wrong with four that. years ago I did want one thing and four years later I'm a whole different person like shame on you for staying the same like and it was like a harsh reality for me but I was just like 
I never heard nobody tell me, like, you know, you switched up. And it was just like, oh, was I supposed to stay the same? Like, did I work this hard to stay the same? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's like so. a hater. <laughs> right. <laughs> so with that being said, that's why I'm kind of like 50-50 with it. I did lose a lot of people, and I wouldn't say I lost them. I yeah. just would say that we either outgrew each other or we're not on the same page or we're not interested in the same things anymore. You yeah. Know? So. I wouldn't say I lost because I'm the one who just was like, I, I, I like to express things like mm-hmm. verbally. Like I don't want nobody to have no weird acts toward me and I'm just right. very I'm extremely straightforward like sometimes it's like really bad like extremely like straightforward so um for the most part I just like to tell it to him like face to face via text like it don't matter like I mean what you saying when you when you tell him um so the <laughs> the most recent person um I basically just told them that we just don't align like it's nothing about us that's the same no more this is somebody that I was best friends with in like high school so it didn't hurt me because I had already told her before, like, I mean, I hate to say what I said, but I, 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 I told her she was pathetic, basically, for something that she did. I won't say mm-hmm. it. I just was like, not the flower girl, not the, not this girl. I, that, that's not me. That's not something that I would like to be associated right. with. So, literally, I just was like, um, I, I don't want to be friends anymore. Like, I said it just like that. Um, we don't have anything in common, I don't feel like. Um, we just, like, on two different things. The stuff that you care about, I don't care about. And I feel like you don't speak your mind enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, and like, that's a problem. Yeah, people people would say like I was feeling a way about this, and I just be thinking like, well, why, why did it why take did for, Why did it I take for everything. me to say something, or why did it take for yeah, to that, get into that's, it for that's, you that's to finally it, yeah. put it on the table? That's what like, it is. That's yeah. that's the most two recent people. That's like what it's been like. I felt the way back in this. Right? Well, you should have said something back then, like yeah. you. Yeah, and it's different for me because it's like I am like truly one of those people who say like everything, everything, like everything. Like that's really why I went to therapy because I'm like okay. Like, you know, you got to chill. Like, because you don't want to be rude to people, but the way you come off is like, I would rather be honest. Than you said that's how you went to therapy? Yes, because my mom felt like I was just um, stressed and I would just, like, be angry and just, like, lash out or just be, like, blatantly rude, which is not mm-hmm. something that I'm, like, proud of, but mm-hmm. just, like... I feel like people was trying to play with me. I don't really think my mama, like, felt that. But right. it's just like, you know, when you got friends and you feel like your friends, like, using you or your friends, like, being weird or, like, something like that, it's like, it don't make me want to be nice. Like, right. it, it yeah. make me want to say exactly what I'm saying, which is, like, what I said to the girl and what I said to the other girl. So it's just like, um... Pretty much, yeah, like, that's why. My mom was like, you need to go talk to somebody. <laughs> you need to just, like... You feel like it helped you? <sighs> I feel like I just kind of drift away from therapy because she she basically dug into like my personal life and I told her that I was sexually assaulted before and it's just like I just didn't want to talk about that Mm -hmm. like at all so when I finally like got the courage to like talk about it and I was doing like homework on it I just decided like um it was Valentine's Day, so I'm just, like, blowing her off. I'm basically just, like, you know, I'm going to put the sessions off because my shop is really busy, which was true, but it was, like, a blessing because I'm, like, I don't want to talk about right. this type of thing. So, honestly, i just been, like, since we've been on that topic, i just been, like, <laughs> you know. Do you feel like talking about your problems help you, or do you feel like being standoffish and holding them in? Well, being that my therapist was maybe, like, the third person that I've ever told, like, in life, it's just, like, she was trying to make it, like, every problem in my life mm. was surrounded about that. And it's just, like, I like my therapist, don't get me wrong, but, lady, that's not it. Like, right. not trying to be funny. It's just right. it. And it's, like, it's something that is weird and it's, like, sad and I don't really, like, think about it that much. But it's just, like, um, I, I definitely feel like... I don't know. I'm just like, uh, don't want to. Yeah, I get it. I feel like maybe she was trying to bring that out of you to figure out, to go to like the next step. I'm not a therapist, but I go to therapy too. So I feel like they tap into certain things that we may not want to discuss. But to be honest, I'd rather discuss it with a stranger because this person don't know me. You know what I mean? And I feel like they can be transparent about it more th- more so me telling a person that knows me and they could try to blame me for why yeah i feel the way i feel or what happens to me rather so that's what it do for me yeah it was it was cool my girl she cool don't get me wrong mm. but it, I, it's it's obviously like it's me it's just not something that i'm just like oh yeah let's just talk about right. this it's like 
that last two therapy sessions, she probably got like four sentences out of me because it's just like I don't know what to say. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I already told you, and so it's like um, other than me like writing and stuff like that, it's just like uh, you. That's just something that you just deal with, like on it, like a day to day. I don't want to wake up and think about that shit, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. So that's just why I was just like you know. After we talked about it, I felt like it, it was something that um, eventually I will let go. Um, once I, like, tell my mom who, because she know that, like, it happened. So that's why I'm, like, so freely to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, she don't know who. So when I, like, finally decide to tell her that, um, then I feel like I'll be, like, 100% cool, you know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad that you talked about it. We got yeah. um, a movement called You Are Not Alone. Mm-hmm. And we only had two sessions so far. So, like, the first one, when we started it, we had a brunch. And we had, like, what, five people on the panel? Mm-hmm. We had someone who, like, got over cancer, um, someone who went through, like, a domestic violence relationship, um, someone who went through postpartum depression, and then just, like, being alone. So, like, the whole point uh, of... We, we had somebody, um, her mom, boyfriend was molesting her. Oh, yeah. Yep, that too. Um, and it was much more, but the point of it all is, like, the the fact that a lot of us go through things and there's people out here that went through the same thing. So like Mm -hmm. we never want no one to feel like you're alone. And me personally, I'm the type that sometimes I hold everything in. And Mm -hmm. then like one day I'm a lash out because I just got all of this built up inside of me. But I'm also not the person that want to take my problems on other people's problems. Pretty much. And sometimes people not mentally okay to listen to your problems. Like, you know, you got to ask somebody how you doing before you tell them. And on top of COVID, life really changed. We all changed, whether we want to admit it or not. Life forced us to change. Like, mm-hmm. in the grocery stores, no groceries. Like, all of that stuff. I can't forget that type of stuff happening, you know? Like, stuff yeah. like that. So, I don't know. That's tough to be deep to talk about. It really do. But we got to talk about it at some point. Yeah. And I do hope that one day you you able to get Thank over you. that bridge yeah. and talk about it. Yeah, For sure. And thanks for expressing that to us, too. Yeah, of course. I always, like, tell people everybody got, like, their thing and, like, Mm -hmm. their story. So it's just, like, um, if me sharing anything helps anybody else, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's hard some days, but most days it's just, like, I'm I'm doing good. No, I'm here. I'm doing good. I do feel like that is a big a part of the reason why, though, I am, like, extremely Judge Judy, though. I do feel like that. Now, that is one thing I would say my therapist helped me with. Like, I never really connected those dots. Like I said, I wanted to, like, forget about it. Mm-hmm. But it's just, like, I do feel like that. I do feel like I'm, like, very, like, reserved mm-hmm. at first. Like, I'm super reserved, so. Yeah, yeah you got to be reserved with these. Um, young men. These young men these days. <laughs> very reserved. Yeah. <laughs> you you just never know their intentions. Like, and they, they're dating world is a circus i can only yeah. imagine with the, <laughs> with the 23 year olds be acting like now i know you're these, probably not even going for 23 uh the, the 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 guy that i'm talking to now he's like 29 so. oh, okay yeah. well yep, up the score yeah. Cause, <laughs> cause listen, yeah. they let baby let me tell you them kids they kids Guys don't mature till 31, 32 if, yeah. and you lucky if they mature then yeah <laughs> and it's hard. I know I'm not tripping because I started watching Being Mary Jane all over again. And like, <laughs> and, like, the stuff that she went through, like, her being established and wanting a family and a kid and the way that she was, it was, like, the stuff she was going through, like, even though she had her own flaws. But dating world is a circus. Like, that's another yeah. topic for another day. But I'm glad that you're old, you're you're older. <laughs> my girl like flowers even though she own a flower company so if you and looking for her and like i pay like so many bills <laughs> hello <Just> saying. <laughs> for real. that's the truth is there anything you want to let the people know you got anything coming up 2022 this summer uh, mother's day probably yeah, next thing coming say, up mother's day is like our next biggest thing so i'm trying to like figure out like how we about to operate with mother's day or whatever and just um trying to map that out basically but i am just i put myself back on a schedule at my store because at first i wasn't working like mm-hmm. i was having everybody else work but then i'm just like i need to be here to monitor so i like put myself back on a schedule I so y'all totally can see get it. Me. i work on mondays tuesdays <laughs> fridays and saturdays period <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Well, we thank you for coming out. We wish your business nothing but more success. Thank y'all for having me. This was a lot of fun. Yes, really yes, was. yes. Yeah. We got to, um, every podcast I do, I usually do like a giveaway. So like after this, we can like, you know, 
put set one up. together. Okay, we can do that. Definitely look out for that. Um, tell the people where they can find you on, you know, social media, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, our uh, Instagram is just Detroit Flower Co. Um, our website is DetroitFlowerCompany.com. Our Twitter is Detroit Flower C One. And, um, yeah, you can find us on Six Mile at 15643 West McNichols. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Make sure, fellas, if y'all watching, get y'all girls some flowers. Yes. Definitely. Just because. You don't need no reason to get in her flowers. And don't give her no headache about no flowers either. And put some money around her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All that, all that. Flowers. Well, if you're listening, thanks for listening to us and leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts. If you're watching, please subscribe and like to our channel. Our YouTube and Instagram is RT Adore the letter N Daisy. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep.